top TV shows and movies. Now this one, not everybody likes this one, but it's The Office. A lot of people love it, a lot of people can't watch it, but me personally, I can watch The Office a million times over and be entertained every time. Now, The Office is very, very dry humor. It's, it's not for everyone, so I see why everyone won't watch it, or they just don't like it. Now me personally, I've been in a work setting where I've been in something similar to The Office, but not exactly that. So I understand the dry humor, the things like that, the, the little subtle jokes that's in the script and things like that, and I love it. Um, so you have Michael Scott, who's the boss, um, and you know he's not a bad guy, but he's just an overall idiot. Like, he's a great boss. Like, Scranton Paper Company, Dunder Mifflin, has never been, like, below the bar as far as their production, things like that. So he's a great boss. Everybody loves him for when he leaves, but in the moment, you kind of hate him because he's he kind of makes it about himself in a way. And then everybody and all the characters underneath that kind of fall into place. So you have Dwight, who is that co-worker that takes his job entirely too serious and then informs everybody what he does. And it's kind of selfish in a way. But yeah, you have Jim, who doesn't really care about his job. He's just there for a check, pretty much, who flirts with, you know, other people that work there, so on and so forth. And then you have the Stanley, who doesn't really care about his job. He's just there for the paycheck as well. Um, doesn't really care what everybody else does. And then he's not the stereotypical black person that everybody tries to make him out to be as well. And then you have other fill-in characters that play a part into the whole thing of The Office. But yeah, overall, in my opinion, The Office is one of the greatest shows ever made. I don't care what anybody says, but yeah, The Office.